Are you okay? Is everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, nothing's wrong with me. I'm good. What was the decision? Were you told or was that decision communicated to you? No. Uh, you know, I just just play as I get in. And then from your vantage point in the second half, mostly, uh, what do you feel like this one got away from you guys uh, as you sat and watched? Uh, I just think we, we – um, I was talking to the guys, um, you know, um, in that fourth, going into that fourth quarter. Um, I think when they got up 20, um, told them that we were, we were playing lifeless basketball. And, you know, uh, what, are we gonna, what are we gonna do? Like, are we gonna at least make it, make it a game or are we just gonna keep playing lifeless basketball? I said, cause at, at this point, we just rolled out of the bed and just, and just came to work today because we had to come. Like, you know, if we're gonna come to work then we might as well really do some work. So, you know, hopefully, you know, um, you know, the good part was we were able to come back and, uh, you know, show signs of uh, life, but uh, it was, still wasn't enough. And one more from me, Thad. Uh, Billy just talked about this team needing to play with a level of desperation, not for the final nine minutes, but for all 48. And, and for us on the outside looking in, it's hard to understand why you guys make a big trade, two big trades, and you're three and eight since, the, since the, those trades were made. Only 18 games left after tonight. Why isn't this team playing with more of a sense of desperation? Uh, I mean, I think we just we're just trying to find, still find our like our identity. Like, who are we going to be as a team? Um, how we're going to play? What we're going to do? Um, you know, as well on the defensive side of the basketball as well. Uh, I think we we still have like a lot of uh, you know, you know, what are we doing out there? Or like. You know, um, how are we supposed to do this? Um, you know, it's a lot of thinking that's still going on and um, trying to process, you know, how we need to play and what lineups uh, need to be out there and how these lineups all work together. Thank you. Yep. All right, Cody, go ahead. Dad, does this feel like rock bottom for you guys? I wouldn't say it feels like rock bottom, um, but I mean, you know, we're just not playing with any life right now. Um, you know, I think the we have to come out and uh, have a little bit more energy on both sides of the basketball. Um, you know, offensively, you know, we can score, but you know, we just don't get any stops, and we have to figure out ways to get stops and, and stop and get teams to, you know, where we can get three, four stops in a row and we can get out and score the basketball. You've you've had a long career and been on teams that have struggled. Is there anything? In particular, it stands out for how you spark a team like this. It's just coming out and just making sure that we impose our will on the game early. Um, you know, keeping our, our star guys aggressive, but also um, you know playing free and playing within the uh, comforts of the offense. But um, defensively, I think that's our biggest challenge, like just getting after it on the defensive side of the basketball. All right, Casey. Yeah, Thad, you, you've kind of touched on this a little bit uh, on the defensive side, but I mean, what do you think is the is the biggest issue? Is it is it personnel? Is it scheme? Is it lack of practice time for the new guys? What where, where do you think the biggest issues are? I, mean, I think it's a little bit of everything. You know, uh, coach is still trying to figure out the you know the the personnel to play, who plays well with each other. Um, you know, the sometimes you know we don't we don't make the the uh, as far as in the schemes and the coverages, you know, um, we don't make the adjustments early enough. Um, you know, and you know, I think the players, uh, as the as the players, we have to speak up a little bit more about making the adjustments as well. Um, but um, you know, and, and then you know, like you say, lack of practice time. Lack of practice time is, is one of the biggest things that that kind of hurts us a little bit because we we're not we're we're just kind of like walking through things and it's not game simulated. Uh, what's what's the overall mood right now, Pat? Are you guys pissed off? Or are you, you? I mean, I mean, I'm always pissed off when we lose a game. Uh, you know, that's just me. But uh, I think guys' mood right now is just you know we're we're trying to figure things out. You know, um, you know, but you do have a lot of guys that's that's pissed off and, and that want to win basketball games. And you know, when you have guys that want to win and, and then that's pissed off, and, and we're trying to figure it out together. And, you know, that's the signs of, you know, guys who care. And I think this team, we definitely, we all definitely care. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. All right, looks like we have one more from Mike McGraw. Hey, Thad, you know, when with these trades, you got five new guys in the locker room. The locker room had been pretty 
unchanged for a while. Can that be like kind of an underrated thing that's hard to get around guys getting to know each other guys starting to trust each other you're a lot of guys are battling for the same roles and and playing time is that can that be a, a an issue with a with a team when this happens in the middle of the season uh yeah sometimes I mean you know we we have a um a lot of guys that's capable of playing basketball and a lot of <coughs> excuse me a lot of guys that can go out there and really um do a lot of different things uh, and it's about making those pieces kind of work together and figuring out how how you're going to disperse minutes and how you're going to disperse, you know, um, you know, the the lineups and, and making sure that we're, we're playing the right guys at the right times and moments of the game. So, yeah, it's definitely an um, uh, underrated thing, you know, um, that kind of gets overlooked a little bit. But, you know, it, it, it's a part of, you know, this game and, and we have to figure it out as well as the coaches have, having to figure it out. And uh, we got to figure out how, how we can, you know, Put all these things, these pieces together to the puzzle, and, and figure out how we can we can get some wins out of it.